And for those of us that know the Lord, we're promised eternal life. Thank God. And that wall, that barrier, it said the gates of hell shall not prevail against God's people. Amen. And, Amen. Amen. And one night in 1972, a friend of his invited him to a religious meeting. And Gene Sullivan was never the same again. One night, the Lord Jesus woke him up out of a sound sleep and that he told him if he throw his hair on away, God would deliver him from his habit. And this, I, I, I never heard anybody say anything like this. And I thought, wow, this man said that the Jesus talked to him. And so he had my full attention. And I, I sat there glued to this man. And he went on with his story. And he went out in the garage. He got his stuff. He threw it away. Went back to bed. Woke up the next morning totally healed. Set free. No withdrawal symptoms. Nothing. And uh, I began to weep. The Spirit of God came down on me. And uh, I began to see my life, see this, all the sin I was in, all the things God had done for me, how I had hurt people, and I was a professional bouncer and nightclub rounder, you know, and heavyweight boxing champion. And I wasn't mean, but I mean, I just, I was confronting sin for the first time in my life. And uh, I wept like a baby, 245 pounds, you know, bench press almost 500 pounds of weight. 19 inch neck, I look like a Hulk, you know. And I, I'm there weeping as God is convicting me. They had an altar call and I went forward. And I just totally gave my life to God. I knew he wanted everything. I knew he wanted just everything that I had. And I said a prayer that morning, I said, Lord, all that I am, all that I'll ever be, wherever I go, whatever I do, I put my life in your hands. 